Tired of being tired of being tired. Hey. Yo, yo, yo. Hey. I turned it down. It just turned to another station. Either way, what's good, y'all? It's your man, Shuel Van, whatever, and I'm back with another video. Now, today, man. Bro, I just came off the uh, Wisconsin, Wisconsin trip. I'm just now coming back. Wait, is my camera clear? Let me make sure that's good. I mean, I can't have y'all looking. Oh, oh, there you go. There you go. Hey, like I was saying, I just left the uh, Wisconsin trip. I just came back, I should say, yesterday. And I'm back at it again today. I was going to chill, but I thought about it. Ain't no chill, you know what I mean? I got a load on Friday. It's so hard for me to get a load on Friday because a lot of them want you to deliver it, pick up Friday and deliver it Monday. And I ain't trying to hold it in my truck for the whole weekend. Cause imagine if I get something going on a weekend, I can't do nothing because my truck is already filled. So with that being said, I got picked up this nice little Lowe's, three pallets. I'm picking up in Jersey and I'm delivering all the way to Maine. <laughs> Who the fuck go to Maine? Like, and they said they wanted the delivery by the night before 11. I could deliver it as long as it's before 11 tonight. I'm five hours away, I'm five hours away from Maine. So we can have that thing before seven o'clock, six o'clock. And I'll be back before 11, back home. So that's cool. So, got me a load for the day, so that's what we doing. You know what I mean? So like, comment, and subscribe. If you're new, let's get to the low, baby. So I just spoke to the person who said he gonna do it. He said the people that was supposed to do it left for the day, but don't worry, I'll get somebody to do it for you. Don't worry. I'm like, all right. <laughs> Good, thank you, please, because I'm not trying to fucking drive back home. Weirdo. <laughs> Don't worry, I'm I'm gonna put this liquor down because I'm drunk right now and I'm gonna get somebody to do it. He looked like he was drunk. I ain't gonna hold you, but let's do it, bro. Huh? Finally got the pallets on my truck, bro. It's three pallets, and it couldn't, they couldn't really fit it. So what they did was, they broke it down. They broke one of the pallets down, stacked the boxes on top of each other, and put the pallet on top, and then put all the rest of the pallets on. Bro, tell me why the guy fell and slipped and hit his back. I'm like, yo, are you good? He jumped back up. He's like, yeah, I'm good, man. That ain't, that ain't nothing. That was, that was cool. I didn't know it was slippery, but now I know. I'm like, hey, yo, what the hell? My truck is a little small, so they had to finesse space in it. And tell me why the guy said, yo, so you starting your own, you doing your own box company thing, right? You doing your own box truck company thing, right? I said, yeah, man, I'm, I, I'm decent under company right now, but uh, that's only because I have uh, a new authority. So, you know, I'm trying to build that relationship up and build some more time under my belt. He said, yeah, that's crazy because I I, I, I drive uh, Ubers and delivery on the side or whatever. Crazy you say you a new company because you take drivers and stuff, right? I say, yeah, I'm gonna get there eventually, but I'm just, uh, at the moment, I'm just uh, trying to build my name up. Well, let me know if you need any drivers or anything. I said, what? Look at that, man, look at that. I might potentially just found a new driver doing a load. I don't know, it's just clicking together. As soon as I get more time under my authority, I'm gonna be, bro, you're not, be able, you're not gonna be able to tell me nothing. Like, I'm really gonna be him for real. But, now we're driving off the main. This is about 350 miles, I believe. So, damn, it's traffic too. Damn it, damn it, damn it. I've been out here trying to chase a chicken, trying to make a difference And I will never be fake to get it MJ Moon walking through the hated snake opinions I just will not let a hoe or a nigga change the vision Yeah, ain't no optometrist It's safe to say it's common and most of these niggas lack a common sense Ben Laden, fuck with me, I fuck around and bomb this shit Put a price on your head, niggas on you like an auction bid uh, These rappers be the new drug addicts Cause they fiending and searching just to find a new hit Meanwhile, I thought I was signed to the San Fran Giants It's like I'm Barry Bonds with this I'm 
close. the rope on there to reverse it back we should be good it's pulling yes good thank you good thank you perfect twice in a night is crazy like we got pulled over twice for the same reason bro <laughs> yo and let's let's get it i'm trying to get the hell out of maine i ain't i ain't here for this shit yo. <laughs> i ain't here for it let me tell y'all about when i got freaking pulled over twice for the same exact thing bro all right so i got this low right as y'all can see i got this low from going from jersey up the main, uh, it's about, I don't know, 300, 400 miles or something like that. And I got like 750 for it. So I said, yo, that's a bet. I pick up 150, drop off before 11 p.m., right? I'm like, that's nothing. It's like five and a half hours to get there from Jersey. Let's do it. Yeah, you know I mean, so I get the load, I pick it up, whatever. People at the pickup was talking shit about my truck. I heard them, they was like, oh, he got a little toy truck. Oh, he got a little Hot Wheel truck just because I got a 12 foot truck. Because, you know, I guess they never seen anything under a 26 foot before. Like, I don't understand how you're joking about a 12 foot truck. Like, you never seen a Sprinter van before? Like, you know what I mean? Like, I ain't gonna hold you though. Hot Wheel truck made me chuckle a little bit. Like, <laughs> but, but then it wasn't funny no more because nigga put these pallets on my shit. You know what I mean? Pallets on, broke them down, whatever. I'm on my way to Maine, right? Mind you, it's, it's like. It's like, what, after three right now that we know around that time, it start getting darker, like four or five-ish type shit. So I'm literally, I don't know why it's taking me this long. I took mad like breaks and stuff, 30, maybe three of the latest. And I was there at like, well, about 10 o'clock because I took breaks for gas and, and, and food or whatnot. You know what I mean? Nigga, nigga really just got a donut steak. You know I mean, a glazed donut steak, but who, who, who cares? I mean, who cares about that? Either way, all right, let me get to the point. I'm 30 minutes away. It's like 10 o'clock or whatever. Tell me why I'm driving, right? See a little cop on the side right now with his lights off. We in Maine right now, you know what I mean? I'm 30 minutes away. I see a little cop, a cop on the side of the road right there. He got his lights off and he thinks he low. You not that low, my boy. I can see you. I hate when people do that. Like, I got pulled over way too many times to not know that this is what y'all do. Seen him in the cut, you know what I mean? So I looked at my, my speedometer, you know what I mean? Make sure my speedometer was under, was under like 65 miles per hour. Nigga was going 60, you know what I mean? I said, oh, we're not, we're not, we're not getting pulled over today. I'm not getting pulled over no more. Like, I need my license to be clean. I want my, no issues with this company, period. I'm not letting nothing stop me. Tell me why I'm driving, right? So I'm looking, boom, boom, out my mirrors, ain't nobody in sight. All of a sudden, out of nowhere, all I see was red and blue light. He in my lane, he right behind me and shit. So I drive, you know, the nigga in me like, nah, he ain't for, he ain't for me. I'm just in denial like a motherfucker. I'm driving, all I see is flashing his lights at me with his red and blue lights on. So it's a bunch of light, it's a light show right now. And I'm looking at him in my peripheral like, Nah, he ain't talking to me. Soon as he start flashing his lights, I said, Fuck! This nigga about to pull me over. He about to fuck this shit up for me, bro. He's about to fuck this shit up for me, bro. Nah, nah. I, he he got to be pulling me over for something. Because I know it's my lights. Truck's been flashing me all day, all night, even when I'm out of sight. Nah, truck's been flashing me. They hazards at me all all day. Because I know that they can't see me because my lights, my tail lights is off. All right, whatever. So I pull over to the side. Probably going to talk to me for that, whatever. And, you know what I mean? What's the worst that could happen? You know what I mean? So I pull over, put a little right blinker on, go to the shoulder. Boom. I wait for him. 
Oh, all right, oh, all right, oh, all right. Then he come out the car. So I got to open the door because I got an old fashioned car and it's like a little rolling, roll in the window. I can't. So I ended up opening the door. He like, we got a rolling window. I said, yes, my nigga, I have a rolling window. I, I, I opened the door for you. Like, what? why are you asking me this? Do you know why I stopped you? Uh, nah. Why did you stop me? Cause your tail lights are out. Did you know that? I said, oh, really? Here go the nigga and me again, you know what I mean? I don't want no tickets or nothing. <gasps> oh, really? I just came from Jersey. When I left Jersey, they was already on, you know what I mean? Them shits ain't been on since I bought the truck, but whatever, you know what I mean? <laughs> they was on when I left Jersey, you know what I mean? So I thought that, um, I thought that they was on. I thought I, I they must have went off when I was driving, cause that was on, my boy. That was on. Sir, step out the car, please. <laughs> No, I'm like, he ain't say, he ain't say, he ain't say. But what he did say was license and reg. No, I don't think he said registration. But he just said license. So I'm like, all right, my boy, what, what, why do you even need my license at this point? Because if you told me that my tail lights was out, boom. I, I gotta make sure I, 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 I do better. I'm not a mechanic, and I ain't got no damn light right here, so I can't fix shit right now. So I gotta go. Why is you prolonging this and asking for my license? So I give him my license, you know what I mean? Keep it professional. My license? He's like, yes, sir, your license. I'm like, all right. There you go, man. He's like, thank you. I'll be right back. So we go his fucking big ass in the car, right? Go in the car, whatever. Five minutes pass. Ten minutes pass. On the 12th minute, I looked at the window, and I finally see somebody walking up out the car i'm like bro why am i sitting here still like i have a delivery to make and i have to make it before 11 o'clock this nigga over here playing trying to look for some shit i'm over here Th those 12 minutes was the longest 12 minutes i've ever felt in the whole ride like the whole ride was six plus hours but then was the longest was the longest minutes out the whole ride out the whole trip because like i'm over here like bro I got in an accident back in 2019, right? Do I got any parking tickets that I didn't pay? Like, yo, do I got a warrant out for my arrest? Like, am I a fella? Shit like that. That was that was all what was happening in the 12 minutes. But like I said, he came back. I guess he couldn't find shit. So then he ended up uh talking about, oh, <laughs> so what you hauling? Oh, this nigga want an issue right now. Like, this nigga looking for some shit. I'm like... I just got, I don't know, some boxes and they on pallets. I don't, I don't really know. I, Sir, he has cocaine. Like, <laughs> that's what I felt like he was thinking at the moment. Like, he has 75 boxes of cocaine. Like, we need backup. I ended up telling him, yo, I got the boxes, they got pallets. And he was like, oh, okay. You said boxes. I said, yeah, my, my, my nigga boxes. Like, boxes and they're on top of pallets. I don't know. I didn't ask the shipper. In case if I get pulled over, a cop might want to know what's in the box like nigga i don't know like i don't that's not my job i'm not packing it i don't know i don't care bro it could be three thousand pounds of dead body in them boxes i don't give a fuck i just want to give this shit to the receiver and get my bread you know what i mean that's all i'm here for then he ended up looking at my uh seat and seeing that i have my bol paper which is the paper that got all the information for this delivery on it like who i'm delivering to where I'm delivering to. He ended up saying this, is this the paper right here? He didn't even know what the fuck it was called. He was like, is it this, this, this the paper right here? Like, nigga, what's the paper? The, the paper of what? <laughs> that's what I should have said. But I said, yeah, that's my BOL, man. That, that's it right there. He was like, can I, can I, let me take this real quick. And he took my, took that. And then he tried to hit me on some other shit. Like, um, do you have your doctor card? Nigga didn't even know how to say the shit. He said, do you have your doctor card? I said, you mean my medical DOT card? Yeah, I got it right here. My boy in my wallet. I carry it every delivery. Like, it's in my wallet. Here. Like, can, can I have that, please? Like, nigga, you don't even know what the fuck it is. Talking about a doctor card. Like, fuck. Anyway, I gave him the doctor card. <laughs> I gave him the doctor card. And then, oh, yeah, I'll be right back. Man, it took a whole nother fucking 10 to 15 minutes, bro. Tell me why 10 to 15 minutes later, all right, so I'm sick. Like, if I ate something that day, other than that donut that I had earlier, I would have shit it on myself because I didn't know what the fuck was going on. Like, I ain't scared of cops. I don't really fear shit, but it's the fact of, like, 
Why? 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 I'm in Maine for the first time. I'm black. It's like I passed at least five toll places and all of them, all of them was white. Not one black person in sight, bro. Not one. This this really don't sound too good right now. Like it really kind of sound a little, sound sus, right? 15 minutes later, see another cop car pull up. So it's two of them thing. Y'all hear that? What does that mean? See, they following me, bro. They following me. Finish this video before uh, they come over here and find me. Anyway, uh, I see a second cop car. Bro, it's one nigga. It's only me. And you pulled me over for a tail light, calling for backup. Like, what? what why? Why? And I see the other guy get out the car. This time, the guy come on this side. I'm like, fuck you coming on this side for, like, this where traffic at. So if you don't give a fuck about getting hit by traffic, then you probably don't give a fuck about me. That's what I'm thinking at this moment. Like, oh shit, I gotta find something real quick. Now go to the window. I rolled the window down because I wasn't about to open the door yet. Nah, I said, yeah, yes, what's going on? I'm a DOT, sir. I just want to see your sticker. I said, what the fuck is a DOT? Like, you mean a, a DOT officer? Like, that's what that's what you meant to say? Like, okay, another nigga that don't know shit, but he claims to be a DOT officer. Cool. I didn't know what sticker he was talking about, but I assumed that he was talking about my 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 weight my weight sticker, which is my like GVWR, a gross vehicle weight rating. Weight rate whatever. Y'all know the weight of my vehicle, bro. So it's on the side of my truck, on the inside. So as soon as I opened the door, he looked at it and it scratched off a little bit. So he was like struggling a little bit. I said, I'm like, I'm like, yo, the sticker scratched off a little bit. It was like that when I bought it, 9,600 pounds, bro. He was like, okay, all right, I got you. That'll be all. I waited another five minutes. Mind you, like, bro, I got a time limit that I have to do this by, like, know you know that i have to deliver this shit like at a certain time like you got the whole bol paper that says i have to deliver it by 11 but you still back here bullshit and looking for some shit to say like i had to think like he don't give a fuck about you he just wanted to find us a reason to lock you up or give you a ticket like you're black <laughs> you're black and you got dreads and you're in you're in maine <laughs> my license plate had a little lean to it too so that shit was hanging on one side because the screw was loose and and it wasn't connected to the truck. So, bro, this shit look. This was a bad look for me. I'm not gonna hold you, bro. Uh, he ended up coming back. Think it's good to go, man. I know you seen that tow truck up there. I know you thought that I was going to tow you, right? I said, <laughs> yeah, yeah. Why would you do that? Yeah, man, it wasn't going to tell you or nothing, man. It, here's your license, here's your BOL, and here's your medical card. I have to get the fuck up out of here. I said, all right, good, cool, good to go. Thank you. But if you get stopped again, just make sure you tell them that the state troop stopped you already and you're getting your tail lights fixed. I said, don't try to be nice now, nigga. Because you know I'm clean, nigga. He thought he was about to find mad shit. My record's clean, you know what I mean? My license... I ain't have an accident in a couple of years, so we we good on that end, and and I paid my speeding tickets from back then, so we good on that end. So he couldn't find nothing on me, so whatever. Don't don't try to joke now, but whatever. Let's go. Uh, I got my shit. Enjoy your day, whatever. Try to keep it professional and drive off. I drove off. Boom. Delivered the stuff. Made the delivery. Whatever. Uh. That shit was mad complicated because I had to figure out how I was going to get the pallets that was in the back into the front because they didn't have like the right equipment. So I had to end up tying my my E straps around one of the pallets and tie the other side to his forklift so he could reverse and then pull it to the front. Tied the rope on there, so reverse it back. We should be good. Pulling. It was good. I mean, I'm like, I got six hours to get back home. It's like 12 o'clock. I'm not going to be home till like six in the morning. Whatever. Whatever. You know what I mean? I made 750. 
I think that's a job well done for me. I think that's good. Literally 15 minutes in the driving. <laughs> whoop, whoop. <laughs> I'm like, bro, what the fuck, yo? What is going on tonight? Yo, 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 yo. I'm not speeding. I know I'm not speeding. And it better not be the tail light again. Cause like, don't Officer A speak with Officer B. Like y'all in the same city. Like y'all didn't relay the message to nobody. I'm like, all right, let me pull over again. This time it's a lady that pull up. She come up on some macho shit. Oh, 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 oh. Sir, do you know why I stopped you? I was ready this time. I was so ready because I already knew what to say because old boy told me to tell him state troops already stopped you and you'll be good. Boom. I already got pulled over by the cops. You know what I mean? He pulled me over like 30 minutes ago. You know what I mean? He said, uh, 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 uh. Tell, tell if I get stopped again that I got already stopped by the state troops. So they said it's cool and I get that fixed when I get back to Jersey because that's where I'm going. I'm going back home. So step out the car, please. <laughs> she didn't say that. But what she did say was, give me a license. I'm like, oh my God, bro. Why the fuck do people want to mess with me today, bro? <laughs> it's late as shit, bro. I'm just trying to get home. That's it. Oh my goodness. Lady came back. That was another seven to 10 minutes. She came back. It wasn't as bad, but what I didn't like about her was when she gave my license back, she got the message or whatever, I guess. And maybe she just know that I already got pulled over. She said, yeah, so your tail lights, your tail lights aren't working, but your blinker works. I'm like, oh, okay. So I got a question. Do my, and as I'm saying, doing this, I, I was trying to push for my brakes and i said do my brake lights work and as I, before i even finished the question see her hand jumped like towards her to gun uh a gun holster like all i said was do my brake lights work she like i'm like Bru miss lady miss lady i said do my brake lights work she said oh you want to know if your brake lights work i said that's that's all she go to the back i'm hitting the brakes she like yeah they're good they work i'm like okay thank you a am I good? Like, she's like, you're good. Enjoy your day. I'm like, okay, yeah, you too. Get the fuck out of here, bro. My first trip to Maine, and I got pulled over twice by the cops. Why? For no reason. It was for a reason, but it was for no reason. Like, I drove all the way to Wisconsin. I drove all the way to Illinois. I drove to both of them shits and back to Jersey not pulled over not one time the one load that i do when i drive to maine which is in the same region whoop 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 like twice in the same night bro that's crazy so moral of the story don't go to maine if you're black <laughs> uh that's my story bro hope y'all enjoyed the video though Comment some more questions y'all got for me or even like some more stories y'all want me to tell, man. Like, comment, and subscribe if you're new, man. It's your man, Shrop Bell, whatever. Freshest, illest, the most littest chuck on the tube, man. It's your man, Shrop Bell, whatever. I'm gonna get up out of here, all right? I'm gonna see you on the flip side. Yiddy.